Yeah, that's that's sacrilegious. Welcome everybody to my Pastor Paul update. I've got Lisa here with me. Wonderful Lisa, our stewardship director, capital campaign director. Thanks for being here today. It's great to be here, especially when you set me up with great compliments like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, this next week is Holy Week, right? So if you need information on that, check out our website. I'm not gonna go through all the dates and times uh, because you can see that on our website, but uh, we sure love to see you here for Palm Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter. Sunday. So that's the news on that. We've got a top 10 for you today. Are we ready to do this? On it. All right, here we go. Top 10 reasons to return your commitment card this week. Drum roll, please. Turning it in before the due date will make you feel good about yourself. Like a scale that registers 10 pounds lighter. Absolutely. I, I, you know, I, I could use about 10 pounds lighter. I wish my scale would do that. Mine does. Yeah, you just adjust it. You oh, you can adjust them. Oh my goodness, that's that's brilliant. What do you think makes me so happy every day? That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, number nine, you get access to free parking at church for a month. I didn't know we had that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I think needs to happen. I think that we need to have a stewardship director spot, right? And a Joel Joel Drzymski spot. Right, just yes. right up front. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's a great idea. Covered. Yeah. yeah. Covered. Yeah. Okay. Number eight. Aren't you really tired of shifting it from one pile to another to another on your kitchen counter? That's totally true. That's totally true. I mean, I have so many piles. Ellie and I work. Do you? Is that the same yes. way in your house? Yes. And then when company comes over, what do you do? Grab them all up, oh, yeah. put them in a big box. Never to be seen again. Right, exactly. Joel, same way for your house? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Piles everywhere. Piles everywhere, all right. Number seven, but wait, act now and we'll throw in two Ginsu knives. Unless, of course, we don't have any Ginsu knives. Which, which we, we don't. don't. Oh well, no knives for people. Number six, we're not making a dent in the national debt. Why not make a dent in ours? Ooh, a political one. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a little sensitive for this show, but it's okay, right? But it's a goal. It's, <laughs> it's a goal. Is making a dent in our national debt a goal? <laughs> it, uh, making a dent in the national debt is unachievable. Okay. Ours is. Ours is. So do something that you can accomplish. <laughs> okay. All right. Number five. Send your commitment card in right now as you touch the screen, and I will send you these box of holy Kleenexes so every time you wipe your nose, it'll wipe all of your sin away. Yeah, that's, that's sacrilegious. Wow. All right, okay, all right. I'm moved. I remember that back, I in, am the, moved. back in the 80s, let me tell you. Should Maybe. I cry for effect? <laughs> I don't think so, okay. I don't think so. Number four. Pastor Paul might stop talking about money. Oh, might. I'm always gonna talk about money. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, that's a no-go. Uh, number three, all the cool kids are doing it. Joel, roll the tape. Uh, were you a cool kid in high school? It probably depends who you ask. Oh, really? You ask me? Cool. Ask anyone else? Not so much. Yeah, yeah, I definitely wasn't cool. I was in the top 2% of coolness in my high school because there were 49 people in my graduating class. Oh, yeah, right. So that's, that's yeah, not a lot of competition. No, <laughs> no. Okay. No. Well, you didn't say it had to be amongst a large oh, group of people. True. You just that's said, true. were you cool? That's true. That's okay. True. Yep. Am I up? Okay, up. number two, the sec, oh, wait, number two reason. A completed commitment card might prevent Pastor Paul from knocking on your door at 5 a.m. Easter morning screaming, Christ is risen! He is risen indeed! Make a commitment! Might. No. I was kind of hoping I could do that to a few individuals at 5 a.m. Well, and we, still we'll have time. We, we have time. We'll go through the, we will go through the commitment cards before Easter Sunday. That's right. And before make the a sunrise list. service. Yep. Okay. Yep. 
I lock could, your doors. I could greet everybody at the Sunrise Service that way too. Welcome to Sunrise Service. Have you made a commitment? <sighs> to Jesus, that is. To yes. Jesus. Okay, all right. Enough of that fun. The number one reason why you should make your commitment card this week is God calls us to be generous. Can you argue with that? Nope. No, you cannot. So we're just encouraging you to be generous with your commitment to the capital campaign. As we close this up, where are we at right now? We're at almost 2.1 million. 17% participation of partner families. Great. So we've got a great amount yep. of growth yep. that we need to pick up because yes. it's all about it's all about a high percentage of our members feeling that joy of giving. Yep. Yep, this is a spiritual journey. So we invite you to be part of this. Just a reminder that we're looking for commitment cards by Easter. Please know that if Easter comes and goes, we would like them the week after Easter uh, before the Sunday after Easter, which we're going to celebrate our capital campaign and really kick it off. Yes, so, and we will accept yeah. them forever and ever. Yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. So. Blessings to everyone this upcoming Holy Week. We hope to see you here. We won't have a Pastor Paul update on Good Friday, so don't look for it then. Uh, but blessings to you as you journey with Jesus to the cross and to the empty tomb. God bless you guys. Mm -hmm.